It's 8 o'clock, you tuned into the South African Morning. My partner in news, Gareth Edwards, out in Santon. Gareth, quite important uh, focus we're having here today it has to do with the BRT system, Ria Vaya. And uh, it was also interesting to hear uh, from the two ladies you spoke to earlier on saying they actually do prefer uh, Ria Vaya, the BRT uh, bus system, as opposed to taxis, because they say it's a monthly you know, pay system that they can budget for because they are domestic workers, they don't earn money. And with taxis, it's a lot more expensive for them, right? Because of the daily payment they have to make there, uh, which at times might be might be challenging. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I had a chance to speak to Emily and Francina, uh, who were very kind enough to stop and talk to me here. Ordinarily, they would be using this station behind me here on Catherine Street. They work at one of the hotels here in Santon, uh, and they are uh, having to walk home every single day. They work night shift, uh, having to walk back home to Alexandra and then back to work again. And they would happily have used BRT in this case. I asked them the question of, well, why don't you want to use the taxis? A, they feel unsafe, and two, it's very expensive. The reason Ria Vaya worked is there ordinarily would be security guards standing here to keep everyone safe. That's part one. Part two would be they don't have to carry cash on them. Uh, as opposed to getting into a taxi, you have to pay cash, obviously. Uh, BRT, or in this case, Ria Vaya, uh, you buy uh, credits each month. You load them onto a card and you tap the card every time you arrive. So they would love to see BRT coming back, but they could see the frustration, Tumza, as to why it's taking so long. Why is it not working? And that's exactly why we spoke to uh, the MEC for transport in Gauteng, Jacob Mamabolo. He joined me a little earlier as well. Uh, and it was a wide-ranging interview. But some of the issues he was raising is that uh, while it has been around since uh, just before the World Cup and was effective then, uh, it has gotten quite complicated between three main metros. They're run by the metros independently, and there's a number of issues. One of that is contractors. Two is the money. Three is the ongoing, as he called it, consultations and meetings uh, with the various interested parties. Uh, key to that, of course, is the taxi industry as well. How does the taxi industry industry fit into this. We've seen issues in the past with public transport, i.e. buses, uh, versus the taxi associations, and it can lead uh, to frustration, and on times, or at times, it can lead to violence as well. So there's a multitude of problems, but what the MEC did tell me, Tumelo, is that he's going to come back to us here on ENCA by the end of June. Now, if you missed part of the conversation I had with the MEC, let's take a quick listen to part of the discussion I had with him a little earlier. And I'm saying to you, in mid-June, we're talking to them. The ones they give us feedback, we will then say to you, we are now in a better position to give you valuable data and information once we have engaged with them, because it will not help to say to you, uh, let's have a conversation when we have not exhausted the consultation, the engagements. We also need to hear from the taxi industry across the Kurule in the city of Tswane and Jobek. So in, in, in no time we'll be coming to you to say, we're now ready to give you feedback. I can see that you want to tie me to a date, but I'm pleading with you, allow us to exhaust all these discussions. We will definitely come back to you, as we always do. Um, uh, Gareth, correct me if I'm wrong here. I mean, you had a conversation with Moshe Lenoch uh, earlier on from the BRT uh, Association, right? And it, it seemed to me, from what I heard, and I could be wrong, please correct me if I am, that he said what you are looking at, what we're looking at, of course, where, where you're standing, that, that's more of a, what, for, for lack of a better term, he said he'd compared to a new baby. It's something that's being started. It's something that's uh, only starting now where they're you know, trying to, of course, conclude with the operations of the BRT system. But it seems from what the MEC is saying, uh, he's saying there's some challenges in terms of timelines, uh, days as to when it will be operational, infrastructure mm -hmm. challenges, not only in Santon, actually he referred to some in Tswane, in Kuruleni as well. So from your conversation with Muchele, what, he, what did he have to say? about uh, the BRT system station where you are. Yeah, the reason we wanted to talk to the association is if you had to ask a number of people walking up and down this road, Tumza, and we did, whether they know if BRT as a system, whether Ria Via as a public transport system, is actually operating, and most people I had a chance to speak to, and there was just a handful of them, to be fair, didn't even know it's still a thing. They didn't even realize BRT is still functioning. They think of uh, this building behind me as a bit of a white elephant. So I asked uh, the association about what 
uh, they're going to do about this and why this particular station is actually empty. And he was saying exactly as you said, it's a new baby. This is a new phase of Rio Vi coming in. There was a phase A, a phase B, and if I heard him correctly, the line wasn't fantastic. He was saying this is a phase C that is coming in, and they've learned the lessons from years gone by, and they're going to try and take those lessons and get the one, for example, behind me here uh, in Catherine Street in Santon up and running. But the issue in the end is not many people know it's actually still functioning, A, and if it was functioning, how many people are you going to get onto these Rio Vi buses? Bearing in mind, we've seen Gau train buses, uh, we've seen regular everyday metro buses, and we've seen taxis up and down this road. So you've got to ask the question from a business perspective, where does this fit into the lifestyles of South Africans, Tumza? And that's where we're going to end uh, for the moment. It looks good, but it's not doing very much at the moment. All right, we'll leave it there, partner. And thank you so much for highlighting this story for us the entire morning. Gareth Edwards out for us uh, in Catherine Street, out in uh, Santon. BRT Systems, uh, also known as Ria Vaya. That's our focus this morning.